Hi friends, welcome back to the vlog. I flew in yesterday to LA. I had to shoot for a campaign. It was super fun. But then I thought to myself, like, I might as well get a YouTube video out of this. And I thought, what about like eating only TikTok viral foods? The fog is crazy in PV. I can barely see anything. I'm staying in Rancho Palos Verdes and I'm driving to Santa Monica first to go to Erewhon. That is an hour drive. So hopefully the fog isn't too bad the entire way there because I can barely see a thing. I've been looking for the sushi sandwich. I found this one, but like this one says no crab sushi sandwich. I don't know if this is the OG one, but this is all they had left. There's literally only two left. So we're just gonna go with this one. I have my water, I have my sushi sandwich. I'm gonna look for an energy drink or like some kind of juice. This is the Just Greens and Apple, and this one has like celery, Granny Smith apples, romaine lettuce, organic cucumber kale, parsley. I think I like this one last time, but I remember last time I did not like the celery juice one, but they have like five different green bottles, so we're gonna try this one this time. This was $11. This one was $21, but it's pretty thick, guys. It's pretty big. I feel like this started getting viral like March, April. So this is kind of on the newer side. There's cucumber, avocado, tuna, and salmon. So this is the size, pretty big. Like it's the size of my head. I literally haven't eaten anything today. So this better be amazing. This is my breakfast for the day. Mm. The rice is really crispy. Like I don't know how it's so crispy. So when I was in like the cold section, but the ahi is really good. I haven't tried the salmon yet. There's a little spice to it. It's kind of like a spicy ahi, but it's like not too spicy. With the cucumbers and avocados, it kind of reminds me of like a California roll, like a spicy ahi California roll. Okay, I'm gonna try the salmon. The salmon looks cooked. Oh, uh -huh. I like the salmon because the salmon is like kind of seared. Like the outer parts of the sandwich is very crispy, very like nicely well, it's like kind of burnt. I, like, I really like the burnt ends. The sushi tastes fresh, like the fish tastes fresh for being a grocery store. But for this price tag, it better be fresh, you know what I mean? I think overall, I'm gonna give this sushi sandwich a 7.5 out of 10. Like it's not bad, it's not amazing. It's like right in between. Now I'm gonna try the Just Greens and Apple. This one's better, I don't taste the celery at all. It's mostly like apples and romaine lettuce. I give this one an 8 out of 10. This one's a lot better than the celery juice by itself. But honestly, the sushi sandwich, I'm very impressed. It tastes very healthy. So like if you're like trying to eat more clean, this is the perfect sandwich for you. The veggies are fresh. The sushi tastes fresh. Nothing's wrong with it. I just think that for the price, it's a little too expensive for me. We are now on Melrose. I'm going to get some coffee. I need a little pick-me-up before the next viral food, but we're going to try together. And that'd be awesome. Can I get your name? Bridge, R-I-D-G. Today we are getting some quesadillas and some chicharron, but first I need to get some coffee because we need to like get some energy. It is early in the morning. I got the famous vanilla oat latte from Alfred's. I always get this every time I'm here. If you guys need a coffee spot, I always go to the one on Melrose. It's just super chill. The vibes are really nice here and it's just so relaxing. I'm just gonna chill out here for a bit and then after this, we're gonna head over to our next stop. All right, friends, good morning. I got my coffee, but now we're gonna get some breakfast at our next viral food item. We are at Chipotle. All right, and I got a mandarin agua fresca. Really good. I'm at the Chipotle at Peninsula Shopping Center. This is like the closest one to where I'm staying in PV. They literally just opened 10 minutes ago, so I know it's super fresh and hot. And I got the quesadilla. I haven't tried this yet. I feel like this trend is a little old. Like it's maybe like two or three months old. I got it with steak and fajitas, and there's like some mozzarella cheese in there. And I got it with sour cream. I got it with chili corn salsa, as well as the Chipotle honey vinaigrette. Guys, I'm so excited. Let's try it. Look at that steam. Guys, this is not Taco Bell. Like, the fajitas add so much flavor. We don't have Chipotle in Hawaii, so that is why I'm so late to this trend. 
but I'm so glad I got it finally. The only thing that would make this taste better is if I ordered a side of the um, tomato salsa. That would be so good with this. Overall, I think I'm gonna give the Kitli quesadilla a 9.8 out of 10. I actually really enjoyed it. It was really good. All right, guys, we're taking a break and we are getting some hot pot. We're at Momo Paradise. And my favorite thing here is the kale and the short rib. Everything's so good here. The broth is amazing. First things first, I am so tired. I need to get to the Starbucks and then we have Din Tai Fung tonight. I got the Aliato one. It's a layered drink with the olive oil at the top. Wow, it's very smooth. It kind of tastes like pistachio. This is really good. I give this an 8 out of 10. I'm going to be coming back for this because they don't have the olive oil line in Hawaii, but it's so good. At our next stop, we're eating Din Tai Fung. There's two viral foods here I want to try. One is the chocolate bow cheese Jalan Bao's with the sea salt foam. We're going to order that on the side. Miniature. First is the spicy cucumbers. Mm. It's like super sweet. It's kind of like a Korean kimchi. But I feel like they got smaller. Mm. 10 out of 10. Alright, so I got two orders of the chocolate XLBs, the chocolate mochi Xiaolong Bao's. They're chocolate stuff, they're like super warm and hot. But the hack is that you dip it into the sea salt foam, so I ordered this on the side. And it's supposed to taste really good together. Everyone's been trying this and I have not tried it yet. This is already amazing on its own, but this adds to it. I give this a 9 out of 10. We finally made it. It was an hour stuck in traffic, but I'm just so glad that we're here. We are at Northgate Market, and this is like a supermarket. Um, just Let's just go inside. We are here. We are at Northgate Market, and I'm going to try and find the Chichero. I don't want to like get the spicy one and regret it so I'm just gonna get the one that says no chili just in case meaning like probably no spice I got the guac now I'm in the meat section and I'm just waiting to order the chicharron belly I just found it this is the chicharron belly that I've been looking for they even have the huge flat chicharrons too it's $14.99 per pound but I'm just gonna ask for like the longest one get one of the long ones please oh yeah that's good yeah that's all thank you Thank you. It came out to 6.45, but it's a thick piece. Yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, so I got the guacamole with no chili, no spice, and the chicharron. This came out to like a half pound. This was 6.45, guac was $5, so like 12 bucks. Look how big this is for the thumbnail. Quick thumbnail. It looks so good in the sun. Look at that. Look how crispy that looks. Cheers, first bite. Guys, shut up. This is so good. This kind of reminds me of lechon or like the Filipino like chicharron chips. Everyone is like parking in front of me and staring at me while I'm eating this huge thing by myself. But I honestly don't care because it's like literally so good. Out of all the viral foods, this is the best. 10 out of 10. Even the guac is so good. Like the guac tastes so fresh. Like it just tastes like avocados. Like I could just eat the guac. Maybe it's a good thing that they don't have this in Hawaii because I think I'll be eating it every day because it's so addicting. I think what I really like is that the top part is crunchy and then the bottom part has like nice like jerky meat. I really like tough meat. Like I really like beef jerky. Like it's literally everything that I like. You guys need to try this 10 out of 10 easily. Do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that from all the way over there? It's so crunchy. 
I don't know if this is gonna pass through TSA, but I wanna bring this home. I wanna like pack a bunch home. I don't know if this is three fluid ounces, but you know, I'll try. I love you so much, Norgate Market. Thank you so much. That was so good. We are back home. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like and don't forget to subscribe. And what was the most interesting viral food that you saw in today's video? Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more of these videos, follow all of my socials at Rich.Hayashi. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.